Fintech has quite rapidly transformed the retail experience in consumer finance. On the one hand, it has made a lot of things much more um, convenient, efficient and comfortable, right? But very clearly, there's also a possibility um, of creating more fragility in the market. Antoinette Shoah's recent work looks at how financial technology impacts financial services for consumers. In analyzing the U.S. credit card market, she found that credit card firms may target less sophisticated consumers with offers that are deliberately more complicated. Financial institutions know much more about your weaknesses and therefore then uh, might find it easier to exploit them. One interesting feature of the U.S. credit card market is that most of the um, credit cards are sold via mailers or letters that are sent to you in, in the mail. The beauty is that we have fine-grained data at the personal level where we see the financial mail that um, different households did receive over the last 20 years. And what this allowed us to do is to use actually machine learning to classify the letters themselves. What interest rate did you get? What over limit fees? Do you show um, the most important information on the front page versus the only hidden on, on the last page? Um, what do you emphasize? People that are less educated and financially less prepared are receiving, first of all, offers that are much more backloaded in its fee structure. They are late fees, they're over limit fees, their penalty APRs um, or their penalty interest rates are very high. Um, and they are typically hidden on the back page in small font. We can even classify the complexity of language page by page. When this information is provided to less educated people, quite counterintuitively, right, um, it's made more complicated. What can be done to stop companies from taking advantage of less financially literate people? Shoa argues that regulatory authorities need to be both fast and smart. In the US, the Card Act, which was passed in 2011, um, actually tried to limit some of the biggest abuses in the credit card industries. What we're doing right now, actually, is to study how those regulatory changes now affect the market. What we see is that the industry is finding different ways of now communicating to customers, right? The takeaway, you know, from a lot of this research that I've been doing is that, um, number one, consumer financial regulation has to be um, nimble and in a way has to be very dynamic. What might have been a great policy even just five years ago might be outdated today, right? So in a way, the regulator really has to always stay on its toes um, to follow the latest trends in the industry. And then the other thing is that regulation has to be evidence-based. Really, we need not more regulation, we need smarter regulation and regulation that really um, is based in science.